content marketing is going through something of a revolution. More clients buying into it, number of platforms, forms of content marketing expanding rapidly, whether it's video or on mobile or apps. And so the majority of campaigns have to be multi-channel. Welcome to the content revolution, something that you'll hear a few times today, um, and also four billion, that's another thing that you're gonna hear a few times today, which is the value of content marketing in the UK right now. In this new paradigm, there are only really two things that matter. One is creating great content, and the second is being able to connect that content to consumers, hence the importance of discovery. The media world that we all work in is increasingly interconnected. Whether that's the way that consumers are using media across different devices, the way we tell stories or communicate ideas across different platforms, or the way we work together as businesses, the technology changes of the last few years are having a profound effect. And right at the heart of that change is content. We are entering a brave new world. There's a fundamental change in the way that we consume fashion and beauty media. We are part of the wave of change. What we see with Twitter is that it's live, public and conversational. Uh, it was born seven years ago um, and uh, essentially we kind of see it as a global town square, as the real time pulse of the planet. The quality of the content and the, the focus on the audience is absolutely key. Too often we are uh, lame or boring or too focused on our own internal stakeholders to persuade people to be the advocates for us that, that, that we want them to. Zuck talks about how the quality of content coming from brands should be as good if not better than that coming from people's friends and family. Uh, however, I think most brands and most marketing at the moment isn't, isn't anywhere near as good as that. And I think lots of brands, lots of marketeers kind of fall victim to losing sight that it is a really human and emotional platform. It's only just lunchtime and already I've written a thousand words on my iPad, so I've taken loads of notes, there are so many great speakers. I particularly like the uh, comment that you uh, can't design your way out of bad content, uh, that touched a bow with me. Very rare that you can go to an event where you hear someone from Twitter and Facebook and someone from the Obama campaign, so it's been amazing. Content management is very important to us, so it's been really useful for me to hear how I could be better improving that and working better with the agencies here today. It is an extremely cluttered world out there and just creating content is not enough. A huge, huge driver of our creative success is putting content marketing and content strategic thinking at the heart of our marketing plans. People don't trust advertising. They do trust social recommendation, branded content and sponsorships. And personally I see this as a huge, huge opportunity for brands out there. You have to make sure that you know who you're targeting, the psychography of your audience. You can use web psychology to optimise the entire process and elicit emotions in your users. They're people at the end of that and if you make them feel good or nostalgic or funny or warm-hearted or understood, they're much more likely to share your content.